The positive predictive value is calculated by dividing the number of true positives by the total number of positive tests. To help us understand this equation, we are going to imagine that a group of people are being tested for a condition. These white squares represent individuals without it, and the red squares represent individuals with it. This yellow line represents a cutoff level for a test. To the left of the line, the test returns negative, and to the right, it returns positive. Since the positive predictive value only takes into consideration positive tests, we are going to focus on the squares to the right of the yellow line. Now let's take a moment to look at the sample table in the top right corner. When calculating the positive predictive value, we only need to use the top row. This row is used for people who tested positive. In the left box, we have the true positives. In the middle box, the false positives. And on the right, the total number of positive tests. Counting the squares, we find that there are 32 true positives, 11 false positives, and 43 positive tests in total. Now all that's left to do is enter the data into the equation. In doing so, we find that the positive predictive value is 32 over 43, which is 74%.